1.4 million people are getting a new phone every single day. That's um, about six times the number of people in the city of Dublin. I googled it, by the way. Uh, and um, in the next five years, there will be five billion people online, likely, uh, most of them through phones. I'm Aparna, director of product at Google, and I'm here to state the obvious, really. Mobile changes everything, except the clicker. <laughs> Can I get a clicker that works? While we're waiting, uh, you know, this is a cliched statement. Everyone says it, you've heard it. I've even seen it tattooed on forearms of uh, venture capital investors around here. Mobile changes everything. Um, but really, in the next few minutes, I want to unpack that simplistic statement a bit, give you guys a quick sense of how mobile's changing search, how Google's changing search and information discovery, and most importantly, how you as developers and entrepreneurs can tap into that. All right. So with information discovery, when it comes to mobile, we see three key shifts happening. The first shift, on a phone, you want information on the go, right? You're making a mad dash to the train station. You want to know when that next train is going to arrive. Or you're about to speak at a web summit, and you desperately want to know, did the San Francisco 49ers win last night? You want quick, bite-sized answers to questions. That's the first shift. The second shift we see, and as someone put it well, our phones are turning into remote controls for our daily lives. You know, you, you know, play music through Spotify, use Uber to order a car, uh, you use Just Eat to order a takeaway, uh, you use RunKeeper to stay healthy. Phones are turning into remote controls for our daily lives. And so it's not just about getting answers, it's about getting things done. The third shift we see here is that push is as powerful as pull. The phone is a partial attention device, right? You take it out of, the, uh, out of your pocket, in between meetings, or sometimes during conferences, and it's much easier to consume information at a glance versus having to hunt and peck and wade through a few screens. And so what it means is that especially when the information is relevant to your context, push can be pretty powerful. Uh, if you're at the Dublin airport tomorrow, chances are you're not special. You're like the thousand of us rushing back from Web Summit, trying to catch a flight, and we all pretty much have roughly the same information needs, right? When's my flight? Where's my gate? Did Mark Andreessen retweet me yet? Uh, and in those cases, when the context is pretty useful, push can be as powerful as pull. Now, all these shifts I'm talking about sound awesome, right? So what's the problem, really? There's one big problem. You know this as well as I do, which is app discovery is freaking hard, right? Uh, and why is that? There are millions of apps out there in the Play Store and App Store, and um, only a handful of them get this disproportionate, disproportionate use. And one of the problems is that it's hard enough for users to discover your app, right? It's hard enough for them to think about your app when they're thinking about you know, their, their needs and information, need, what, they, what they need. But the second problem is that even if they do find your app, then there's the install friction. As a colleague of mine put it, in the world of apps today, there's no dating. There's only marriage. Uh, assuming you do jump through those hoops, you know, not to mention t pay a ton of money, and get your app installed on users' phones, it's very likely that it will be buried in the basement of these giant grid of screens there. In fact, we have a stat that says, one in four apps installed on users' phones never get touched, right? So how are we thinking about these problems at Google? And as you know, fundamentally, information discovery has been the foundation of what we've done in the last few years. And increasingly, mobile's been at the heart of it. So in fact, mobile search volume has been growing at an unprecedented speed right now. And as of two months ago, the searches we are seeing from mobile devices has well surpassed desktop. So mobile's really at the heart of how we are thinking about information discovery. And in short, we think about our core job in this new world as assistance, bringing assistance to users. Now, assistance is all the rage. Everyone's again talking about it. I keep joking, saying assistance is the new black. Uh, but for us, it means something pretty simple and utilitarian. For us, assisting you is bringing you answers 
you know, quick answers. Um, it's helping you take action, getting stuff done, and then doing it based on your context. That's really what assistance means to us. And I want to give you a few examples of how we are starting to build this and how you can be part of it. So let's see. Bringing you answers. Now, one type of an answer is powered by Google's knowledge graph. So here's an example. My hotel's right by the Trinity College. And I should be able to ask, well, when was it founded? This particular one is powered by the knowledge graph, as I mentioned, with billion entities, people, places, things, and 50 billion facts. Pretty impressive. But my claim is that there are many more questions that users have that you all collectively have answers to. Right? So in this case, what are good, some good bars in Dublin? The Guardian app may very well have a good answer. Is this butcher's grill place any good? TripAdvisor may have a really good answer. So how do we make sure that we can bring up these answers and information that's right now buried in apps? And so one of the early steps that we've taken, it's really early days, but one early step we've taken is app indexing. And the idea is simple, right? How do you deep link and connect between apps and de-silo apps, much like the web? And so this effort, we started two years ago. And already today, more than 40% of searches on Android surface deep links to apps, no longer buried inside those apps, right? Um, and more than 100 billion app links are indexed today. Now, beyond answers, we're thinking about how do you help users take action, get stuff done. And I want to give you a couple of examples here. You can book a table at a favorite restaurant via open table right here on Google with one tap. This one's my favorite example because no tapping required. You can actually send a WhatsApp message to your friend using Google all through voice. Some of you might have heard Amit Singh yesterday uh, from Google talk about how machine learning is really powering a lot of innovation in Google products. The best example is the best-in-class speech recognition system that we have, uh, thanks to some really amazing breakthroughs in deep learning. Take speech recognition system, combine it with a kick-ass natural language understanding, and what you have is a really powerful way of enabling conversational interface that we can power for all of your apps. Right? It's a, an obvious, immersive, natural interface in terms of interacting with your app. We talked about answers. We, talk about, we talked about helping you take action. But sometimes, we want to assist you proactively without you having to ask based on your context. And this is what's powered by Google Now. And some of you might have seen these helpful cards that tell you about traffic delays or upcoming flight information or your favorite sports team scores. But what I want to highlight here is that, again, we are starting to see how we can surface information that's buried in apps and bring it out to the users at the right time. So you're at a bar. You tend to use Uber. Can we automatically surface a real-time information, a card from Uber, that can instantly, with one tap, get you to where you want? It shows you real-time real information about the fare estimates, ETA, et cetera. Even better, we want to go even one more step further and say, can we bring out these right information and uh, the right apps wherever you are on the phone? And this is a feature we call Now on Tap that we launched with Android Marshmallow release last month. And the idea is simple. Wherever you're on the phone, if you can simply tap and hold the home button, we can assist you. We can bring you the right information, and in, in this case, right apps, like Yelp or OpenTable, if you're chatting with a friend about a restaurant. Right? This is yet another way your app can be discovered and brought up in context of what the user needs. So all these are just a few examples of how we can start to assist users in a mobile world. And that's for users. But really, for developers, it's really discovery, discovery, discovery. Right? These are just a few examples of how you can start to see there are new ways that you can reach and re-engage with your users, again, in context, when they need your information and services. With that, um, here's a quick link to more information on where you can get started with app indexing, or just tweet at me for any questions you have. Thank you.